Let's talk about a sperm granuloma. After a vasectomy, usually days or weeks later, a pea-sized, sometimes annoying lump may appear at the site of the vas deferens where the vasectomy was done. This can be felt on one or both sides above the testicle and towards the groin. Not all patients develop what is called a sperm granuloma, which that's what it is, and those who do may have one side more obvious than the other, or just one side may be affected. This lump can be tender and annoying, particularly when touched or with certain movements. However, it should not cause any further concern as it improves on its own with time. But what causes this? What causes a sperm granuloma? Well, the small lump that can form at the vasectomy site is nothing more than your body's reaction, specifically your immune system, to the presence of sperm in the wrong place. If you remember, when we do a vasectomy, we interrupt the flow of sperm from the testicle to the tubes that carry the semen to the outside during ejaculation. By doing this, the sperm does not disappear but simply does not make it into the semen. Therefore, sperm continues to be produced. When the sperm does not reach the semen, then they remain inside the scrotum. But remember that this is a very small amount of fluid since sperm represents only 5% of all the semen that is ejaculated. Being in the scrotum, your immune system recognizes that, that the sperm are outside the ducts and then it creates a reaction to contain them and then recycle them. This is what generates the spermatic granuloma or the sperm, sperm granuloma. But what do we do with this? Well, in reality, many can develop a sperm granuloma and only realize it by the presence of a small lump. In those cases, no intervention is required. The granuloma will eventually disappear without any consequences. In other cases, the lump can cause some discomfort, particularly when touched or with some movement. Even though this will get better on its own and time, with time, the discomfort is annoying and therefore the use of an anti-inflammatory medication would be suggested. The simple use of ibuprofen, naproxen, or even acetaminophen uh, for those who are allergic to the other medications is enough if taken for 10 to 14 days. In summary, these are the five things to remember about sperm granuloma. First, it is a small lump that can appear in the area of the vasectomy. Second, it can occur on one or both sides, with or without symptoms. Third, it is the result of sperm recycling. Fourth, it does not always require treatment. And finally, anti-inflammatory medications will be sufficient for 10 to 14 days.